Ever wondered why you can't get someone out of your mind? Well, it could mean one of six things, according to psychology studies. You see, when someone takes up permanent residence in your thoughts, it could be a sign of several things. It might hint at attraction, infatuation, or emotional attachment. It could be a reflection of uncertainty or insecurity, or it might simply be a case of boredom. Intrigued? Let's dive in to understand these six reasons in detail. Firstly, it could be due to romantic attraction. Let's delve into the fascinating world of our brains, where a little chemical called dopamine plays a significant role. When we're attracted to someone, our brain releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter that's associated with pleasure and reward. This dopamine rush can create an irresistible urge to think about that special someone constantly. It's like a mental itch that you just can't help but scratch. The early stages of attraction are often characterized by this dopamine-fueled thought process. You find yourself daydreaming about that person, replaying conversations in your head, and imagining future scenarios with them. It's a whirlwind of thoughts fueled by romantic attraction. But why does this happen? Well. From a biological standpoint, it's our brain's way of focusing our attention on potential mates. It's a part of our primal instincts, hardwired into our system over millions of years of evolution. And from a psychological perspective, these constant thoughts represent our desire for connection and intimacy. We're social creatures by nature, and forming close relationships is an essential part of our human experience. So, if you find your thoughts constantly drifting towards a certain someone, it might not be a cause for concern. It's a natural part of the attraction process, a sign that your brain and heart are doing what they're designed to do. So if you're obsessing over someone, it might just be that Cupid's arrow has struck. Secondly, it might be a case of infatuation. Infatuation can be a roller coaster ride of emotions. The intensity of these feelings often leads us to develop obsessive thoughts about the person who has captured our attention. It's like they've become the sun, and we're just planets helplessly pulled into their orbit. It's a powerful attraction that can fill every waking thought and even seep into our dreams. But here's the twist. Infatuation can distort our perception of reality, like looking through a funhouse mirror. Everything about the person seems perfect. Their flaws become quirks their mistakes become charming, and their mere presence feels like a spell. This is because when we're infatuated, we tend to idealize the person. We create a flawless image of them in our minds, an image that often doesn't match the reality. This idealization can be intoxicating. It can make the world seem brighter, the air feel lighter, and the days seem shorter. It can make you feel like you're floating on a cloud, living in a dream. But here's the catch. This dream isn't always based on reality. It's a dream woven from our own feelings, our own desires, and our own fantasies. So if you find yourself constantly thinking about someone, ask yourself, are you infatuated? Are you seeing them for who they truly are? Or are you seeing your own idealized version of them? Infatuation can make you feel like you're in a dream, but remember, it's not always based on reality. Thirdly, it could be due to emotional attachment. This is when you've shared a significant amount of time, experiences, and emotions with someone. This person may no longer be in your life, but the bond that was formed doesn't just disappear. It's like a ghost that lingers, often making itself known in your thoughts. Think of it this way. You've built a bridge between your heart and theirs. Even when they're gone, that bridge remains, and thoughts of them can easily cross over. This is why the idea of them can fill your mind even when you're trying to focus on other things. It's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just a testament to the connection you once had. In many cases, it's a past romantic partner that tends to occupy these thoughts. After all, you've shared intimate moments, dreams, and maybe even plans for a future together. Those aren't easy to forget. It's like a song that keeps playing in your mind, even when you're not consciously thinking about the melody. But remember, it's not just about romantic relationships, strong friendships, family ties, or any relationship that had a deep impact on you can lead to this kind of emotional attachment. So, if you find yourself thinking about someone from your past, it's not necessarily a sign of unresolved feelings. It's just evidence of the deep emotional ties that were formed. If you're thinking about an ex, 
It could be because of the emotional ties that are hard to break. Fourthly, it might be due to uncertainty. Imagine you're in a relationship, but you're not quite sure where you stand. You're not certain if it's casual, serious, or somewhere in between. This ambiguity can be a breeding ground for overthinking. Every interaction, every conversation, every glance gets dissected and analyzed. You're constantly trying to read between the lines, looking for any indicators of their feelings towards you. Now, let's take a step back and look at this from a psychological perspective. When we don't have clear answers, our brains naturally seek out patterns and connections to fill in the blanks. This is a survival mechanism, helping us make sense of the unknown. But in relationships, this can lead to overthinking and obsession as we try to decipher what's really going on. And here's the kicker. This overthinking doesn't just stay contained to your relationship. It spills over into your everyday life. You could be in the middle of a meeting, a workout, or even trying to fall asleep. And suddenly, you're thinking about them. You're replaying conversations, questioning their actions, and imagining scenarios. So, if you find yourself constantly thinking about someone, and you're not quite sure where you stand with them, it's likely due to uncertainty. Uncertainty can be a powerful trigger for obsessive thoughts, keeping someone firmly planted in your mind. If you're unsure about where you stand with someone, it could be causing you to think about them constantly. Fifthly, it could be a result of insecurity. Now this is something that may hit close to home for many of us. Insecurity, it's an insidious little creature that creeps into our minds and makes us second guess ourselves. It can make us feel like we're not enough, like we're constantly falling short. And when we feel insecure, it's not uncommon for us to fixate on others. Why does this happen, you ask? Well, when we're feeling low, when our self-esteem takes a hit, we often turn our attention outwards. We start to obsess over others, comparing ourselves to them, measuring our worth against theirs. This can often lead us to think about them a lot, to obsessively replay interactions with them in our minds, searching for validation and approval. It's like we're trying to fill a void, trying to make ourselves feel better by seeking validation from others. It's as if their approval, their acceptance, could somehow validate our worth, could make us feel like we're good enough. But here's the thing, it's a trap. It's a cycle that keeps us stuck in a state of insecurity. So if you find yourself constantly thinking about someone else, if you're replaying interactions with them in your mind, seeking their approval, it might be because you're feeling insecure. If you're feeling insecure, it might make you fixate on others more than usual. Lastly, it might be due to boredom. Ever found yourself mindlessly scrolling through your phone, your thoughts wandering towards someone else? You might be searching for a distraction, a way to fill the void. When our lives lack stimulation, our minds, ever so curious and active, start to wander. Boredom is a curious thing. It's not just about having nothing to do. It's about feeling unfulfilled, unengaged with our surroundings. And when we're in this state, our minds naturally seek out something, or in this case, someone to focus on. The brain craves novelty, excitement, and when it doesn't get that from our environment, it turns inwards. It starts replaying conversations, analyzing interactions, creating scenarios. Suddenly, that person becomes a lot more interesting. Their life, their actions, their words, they all become a source of amusement, a way to pass the time. But here's the thing. This fixation, it's not really about the other person. It's about us, our need to be engaged, to be stimulated. If you find yourself constantly thinking about someone else, it might be a sign that you need to bring more excitement into your own life. Try picking up a new hobby, learning a new skill, or simply changing up your routine. You'll find that as your life becomes more exciting, your thoughts about that person will start to fade. If you're bored, you might find yourself thinking about someone else to distract yourself. So, those are the six reasons why you might be unable to get someone out of your mind. We've delved into the depths of romantic attraction, where dopamine stages a coup in your brain, making you think about that someone special constantly. We've explored the realm of infatuation, where intense feelings distort reality, leading to obsessive thoughts. We've walked through the corridors of emotional attachment, where bonds of the past keep an ex haunting your thoughts. 
We've navigated the murky waters of uncertainty, where not knowing your standing leads to overthinking. We've climbed the mountain of insecurity, where low self-esteem drives thoughts about needing approval. And we've wandered through the desert of boredom, where focusing on someone else reflects a lack of personal engagement. Every one of these scenarios provides a window into our own emotional state and psyche. Remember, it's important to reflect on your feelings and understand why you're constantly thinking about someone. It's all a part of understanding ourselves better. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And most importantly, please share your thoughts and comments below. I'd love to hear what you think.